Cool! Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Jakob Lotering from Select SITV and um, this is about my third attempt with tonight's interview with Mr. Samkelu Minwabu Sibutu. Um, yeah, I hope it goes well. I'm so sorry for the inconveniences earlier and I do apologize sincerely for that. But let's try it now and see how it goes. So let's just wait for Mr. Samkelu to join us and then we'll get on the way. Wish I had some background music though. Let's <laughs> do lighten the mood. <laughs> cool. <laughs> awesome, I see we have two viewers already. Sorry everyone, I'm just waiting for Mr. Samkulu to join us again. Um, we, we decided to retry the interview just now. Um, so yeah, just hold on for a few seconds for me and then we will be on track. So, hello one viewer. <laughs> Can you guys hear me over there? <laughs> Gonna play some background music to, you know, Get everything on the way. <laughs> cool. Um, let's try and do something else in the meantime while we're waiting for Mr. Sam Kolo. Um, I think I'll just tell you guys a little bit more that I know about him at the moment. Um, I think he just joined. Let's see if he requests to watch the to join the live stream in two seconds. Cool. Why can't I see who joined the stream though? That's actually quite awkward. I know. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just struggling with the camera woman at the moment. <laughs> well, at least this is a little bit fun now. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I was like, cool, can you guys see me? Uh, no, not anymore. <laughs> cool, ladies and gentlemen, once again, I'm so sorry for the inconveniences today. Um, I'm just waiting for Mr. Sam Kulu again um, now. Uh, I think he's having some trouble joining us again. But I'll try and tell a little bit more about him. So his name is um, Samkelu Linwabo Sibatu, and he's the founder and CEO of Magazes Corner and Ikunini Car Wash. Um, so yeah, um, as far as I know, um, the Magazes Corner is a sparkling wine that he has started all by himself. And we'll be asking him a few more questions about ah he just 
send me an invite to join join here. Um, but in any case, and then the Ikunini car wash was just hello, Mr. Samkelu. <laughs> so yeah, cool. Cool. Can you hear me this time? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, awesome. I was just telling everyone on the stream at the moment about um, Magaza's Corner and the car wash that you started. Would you please care to elaborate for me again? Just tell me more about the business. How did you start them and such forth? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me start with the car, uh, Magaza's Corner event. Marquesas Corner event started as a birthday celebration. Uh, I used to host uh, my birthday celebration on the second of oh second week of uh, December with oh, my cool. three friends. Yes, and then oh. that's where I fell in love with entertainment. And I changed the event. Uh, what's this? A birthday party to uh, the events. And back in 2014, I started hosting my first event. Wow, okay, cool. And it was called oh, awesome. Oslo Cafe. Yeah. yeah, and uh, yeah, you also have uh, the car wash that you started as well. Yes, I just opened a car wash called Marquesa's Corner. Uh, not, sorry, <laughs> I love Marquesa's <laughs> Corner too much. <laughs> <laughs> the car wash is called Econini e e Car Wash and Pry. I co own the car wash with a guy called Akashula Sitanga. Okay, awesome. No, nice, man. Um, so I just have to get my questions here ready. Um, so, um, what, are, what other events do you host with the Magazes Corner? Uh, any we... Birthday parties or? Yes, we, we host private parties, and as you, if you can see at the back here, uh, we oh, host okay. public and private events. We wow. also do advertising. Let's say if you want to hire an artist, we can assist you get an artist. So we do private and public events. Yeah, awesome. Um, and with um, when did you start the car wash business? Actually, uh, the plan was to start the car wash late, late last year, but I couldn't start the car wash because of the finances. So ah, we yeah, started operating from this year, just before the COVID-19 started. We started operating until to date. Wow, okay, cool. So it's like a new, fresh business still starting and running. <laughs> yes, it's still ready for the new. Run. Yeah. Okay, awesome. And how was the impact of the comp um the COVID nineteen on like Magaza's corner and stuff like that? Oh, I, I don't wanna even talk about it, but it really affected us a lot. But again, it was an eye opener because I was doing three events per year, okay. of which I was not making money on those events. You see, so that, yeah. Uh, so. During this lockdown, I sat down with the guys that I'm working with. So we decided to cancel all our event, annual events and focus only on one event, which is going to be on the 24th of December. In fact, it's a festival. Wow. A big okay. summer so it's... festival. Yes. Yeah. A big summer doing. festival. Wow. That sounds awesome. Is it going to be your first um, festival that you've done or? Um, it's gonna be my first festival. Oh, awesome! Okay, cool. Um, is, do you mind if I go a little bit personal and ask about your childhood and how you got to where you are today? What are the yeah, reasons know. that motivated you and you know, like, gave you inspiration to keep going and starting through all these tough times recently? Okay, I. I grew up in a small town called Stexbreit, and okay. it wasn't easy growing up here in Stexbreit. Uh, I was raised by a single mother, so oh, okay. yeah. So <laughs> I don't know what to say, but uh, it was not easy. 
and then yeah. what inspires me as the uh, uh, like i'm a traveler you see so yeah. i would travel to big cities like in, back in 2015 I, i went to fill up the dome with casper okay you see so yeah. those are other people who inspired me and the guy from tata called pk driver that okay, cool. you must never let your background define you if you have dreams you must try and fulfill them and believe yeah. in yourself yeah. wow okay awesome um and your mother is she supporting you and she happy for you <laughs> she's very supportive a lot a lot uh, because uh, last year things were not going well for me then she was the one who was helping out with everything and okay. now that I'm back in business she's very happy Awesome. and i uh, a lot okay so it's going good with you and her and everything <laughs> yes we're getting there we're getting there awesome um can we just like give a second um i see someone commented single moms and a few flexes um so just a <laughs> shout out to awesome <laughs> yeah cool that's very awesome from her would you um say say that your mom's like one of your um role models or do you have anyone that supported you my mother, yes my mother is my role model then uh, there's a friend of mine who's always there for me so okay cool. that friend is also my role model and he keeps me going all the time awesome um could we ask his name give him a little shout out tell us how he inspires <laughs> you <laughs> Okay, the guy is uh, Dr. Suzanne Ngele. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. Um Yeah, what was the other thing that I wanted to ask now? I'm sorry, I'm <laughs> a little bit puzzled now. It's really cool. I just saw someone ask a question here. Did you get started in Stepford with the business? Okay, uh, Tim Nkosi, I started the business in Stacksbridge. I'm going to do everything here in Stacksbridge, not anywhere else. Okay, so you're not planning to, like, expand to other places in the future, or what are your goals with the businesses at the moment? Uh, with the wine business, Yes, we're going in a uh, national or international, but with the events, I'm only going to host events in my district, but I'm oh, okay. open to assist other people. If you are in Bloom, for example, you need assistance from me, I will definitely yeah. help. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's but really awesome. Is to, is to inspire a uh, state spread youth. In fact, Joe Kabi, Joe yeah. Kabi district youth, is that anything is possible if you believe in yourself yeah that's so true um yeah. do you have any other words of wisdom for people that are starting to try and do what you did um with the entrepreneurship that you started and yeah um hey I, i would say you must uh, believe in yourself and try and reach your goals you see and okay. never stop keep on trying it's not easy out there but you must keep yeah. on trying have faith in your dreams okay cool and definitely words that i'm going to take up in my own personal life so yeah i see some um select as i also just um commented here why champagne and not beer or cider or gin <laughs> <laughs> you have like a uh, you know, thing for wine happened? do you love wine and champagne Uh, you know what happened uh, back in 2018 i was supposed to host an event in western cape robertson but that couldn't, couldn't happen then i never lost touch with the guys that i was supposed to host with you see okay. so during this uh, lockdown thing we were busy chatting on when are we going to do an event there Then while we were talking, they told me about the, the wine thing, that they have a guy, they, have, they know the guys, they, you know the four cousins, brothers? Yeah, four cousins. My mom yes, loves them. They introduced <laughs> me to the four cousins, brothers in Robertson. 
and that's how okay. we came up with the Marquesas Corner Sparkling Wine. The wine is produced by the four cousins and bottled wow. by the four cousins. I'm only doing the branding of the bottle. Okay, cool. That's very interesting. Um, I'm sorry, this is a personal question for myself. I'm a student and I was wondering where can I like get some of this um, sparkling wine? Do you sell in like normal liquid stores or online or where can we get your product? Currently, um, you can only get it from me and you order from me. You call me on 063 916 And uh, if you outside the expert, I courier them. For example, the past two days I was in Northwest Houting trying to deliver the winery thing. And the wine will be available in stores like ShopRite and uh, as this other store, Oxa. But now our, I'm still busy with the trademark because now it doesn't have the the barcode at the back. So I cannot put it on, on, on big stores for now. But it will oh, okay. be available, in, I think, late November. Late November. Oh, wow. I'm looking Thanks. forward to them. Um, but I'll definitely... Um, do you mind maybe commenting the number that you just said um, so that everyone that might be interested like, can call you and maybe get a few new customers if you want? <laughs> or oh, let me type it. <laughs> awesome. So Thank you, man. 3996. Awesome. Oh, but well done, man. Um, that's really awesome. Um, thank you for your time today. I think that's all for tonight. I'm not sure. I see Cherish is watching, so I'll just um see if he comments something there. Um, but I think we've um covered basically everything for now. <laughs> but yeah, thank you very much. It's really inspirational story, and thank you for sharing, man. Okay, thanks. Cool. So good luck with you forward, and I'll definitely be keeping an eye for those champagne bottles in the um stores. <laughs> cool. Cheers, man. Thank you. Cheers. Bye. Bye.